Hi, Crusader family. Welcome to week two of our e-learning process. I hope things are becoming a little more familiar and easy for everyone. I know your teachers are working so hard. We are meeting once a week on Zoom or Google Meet, and we are doing daily devotions as if we were in the building every day, trying to maintain as much normalcy as possible. But I wanted to talk to you just a little bit this this morning about um, the special week in a Christian's life, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I found a really interesting devotion entitled Stinky Feet. And it's based on John 13, 34 through 35. And it says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, all men, you know, that you are my disciples if you love one another. And I sure hope you're loving one another this day and this week and, and during these very difficult times. Some of you may be loving even though you're not liking so much with your social distancing. But this, this is um, something where this is a, a thing about Jesus and that evening during that Last Supper and as he humbled himself and he washed his disciples' feet this act perfectly illustrated his command of loving one another, which is his first command and his most important command for us um, to love one another as he has loved us. And that's hard to do sometimes. But so from John 13 verses four and five, it says, so he got up from the meal. He took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. After reading that, I can only imagine what washing someone else's stinky feet must be like. And some of you may have participated in some type of a, a, a lesson, an object lesson, where you have cleaned someone else's stinky feet or had someone clean your stinky feet. But the thought of it just sometimes is really yucky, which I think is why God uses this illustration, that that's one of the things that, I'm not so sure sometimes I like to clean my own stinky feet, let alone someone else's stinky feet. And that just shows how we are to love one another, even in the most difficult of times, and even in the stinkiest of moments. So I just, I challenge each one of you um, to think about that process and what that really means, what that lesson really means to us, is that we are to be like Jesus and clean someone else's stinky feet and love them the way he loves us. And that's really difficult during these times, but I know you all can do it. So the bottom line is we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves and serve the Lord as he served us. It is he who lifts us up. When we love Christ, he changes our hearts and motivates us to love others. And if showing this love means washing some stinky feet, then so be it. So I will leave you with this verse from Ezekiel 36, uh, verses 26 through 27. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and keep my laws. I hope you all think about this Easter season in a whole different way this, this year. There will be no Easter baskets and Easter dresses and fancy dinners with your whole family. And gathering as a group of believers in a church building but we can still put on our Sunday best, have the best meal possible, and we can gather online as God's people and remember that he is risen. And because he is risen, we are called to love one another. I hope you all have a blessed Easter weekend and continue in this process knowing that God loves you. There is hope in him and that we are all praying for each one of you. Have a blessed Easter weekend.